Hi, today we are going to design a differentiator using a open, but first let me show you how we are going to design it. This is known as a practical differentiator. It has a two resistance and two capacitor. Here is a frequency response of a practical differentiator. First crossover frequency is defined by 1 upon C in into RF and another crossover frequency is defined by 1 upon Cf into R in and the gain of this differentiator is defined by feedback resistance upon input resistance that is minus Rf upon R in. So here in our circuit which we are going to design into multi seam a gain is defined by R2 upon R1 and crossover frequency is defined by R2 or C2 and R1 and C1. So let's first connect this circuit. Okay, we need to connect this capacitor and resistor and open this resistance. We need to connect it here. And the another terminal must be connected with the output. And this capacitor in the parallel of resistance R2. And also we need to connect this ground here. Connect this VCC to pin number 7 and leave pin number 8 and 1 as it is. Now connect this input and we need to connect uh, this COM port with the ground. And here this is a board plot. We need to connect this board plot with the input and another negative terminal with the ground terminal and output with the pin number 6. And uh, here is oscilloscope. We need to connect oscilloscope input with the input and negative terminal with the ground and this negative terminal is also with the ground and this positive terminal with the output. Okay, now we have completed our circuit. Now let's run it. And if we see output, here is output. And what we are seeing here, we are getting here a signal which is almost negligible. Why? Because of the frequency response. That means we need to increase the frequency to let's say make it 100 hertz. Now, let's see the output. Before seeing output, we need to change the color. So this output color, we can change this color to the green color. Okay, so now run it. Perfect. Now you can see here we are getting some output. Okay. Perfect. Right. So now let's see a frequency response. Here is a frequency response. If you match it with the, as uh, I have explained, so you can see it is matching almost. So here is a gain. We are gain, getting a gain which is almost minus 3 dB. Okay, at this frequency range that is 102 hertz. But after that if you see, okay, right. So here at this end, uh, it is decreasing with 20 dB per decade and also here it is decreasing with 20 dB per decade. So we need to change uh, we need to increase R2 to, uh, to increase the gain. Okay, so let's say in, increase this R2 to 10 kilo ohm. And now run this simulation. And if we increase here uh, this R2 by 10 kilo ohm, now you can see earlier it was 3 dB, minus 3 dB, now it is almost minus 0 0.8 dB. Now, let's say increase this frequency to let's say 1000 Hertz and run it. Now you can see, means uh, the output has been uh, attenuated. Now let us increase this 10 kilo ohm to 100 kilo ohm and let's see frequency response. 
right perfect so now frequency response uh, it is uh, producing you know the wider width okay since 1 upon r2 and c2 and 1 upon r1 and c1 is producing a wide difference okay thank you so much for watching this tutorial and uh, stay tuned for next tutorial where we will be looking for anti log and log amplifier